Hi guys, hey, welcome back to my channel. My name is Okunshui Adiolu David, and today we're going to be looking at men's equations, problems, and solution. At the end of the video, do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. The Lenz equation, which is otherwise known as um, the Lenz formula, is um, 1 all over f plus 1 over v plus 1 over, 1 over u. Alright, and the magnification is v over u. Okay, or uh, image height over object height. Okay, and then p is 1 all over f. Alright, you need to understand that your u is the object distance. V is the image distance. M is magnification. And then H, subscript I, is image height. H O is object height. While P is the power of the lens. Okay, power of the lens. And um, F is focal length. Focal length. Now, these equations we have there. 1, 2, and then 3. You need to understand that before you use these three equations, there are sign conversions attached to them. First and foremost, you need to understand that for lens, we have a converging lens. Okay, let's talk about the sign conversions now. Sign conversion. We have the converging lens. Don't forget that converging comes to be called uh, the convex lens. Then we have the concave, sorry, we have the diverging lens or concave lens. For a converging lens and diverging lens, for both of them, the object distance is always positive. That is, for a real object, which we're going to come across most often, it equals to positive. For a real object, which is what we always have most times, actually, most times, not always, most times. And I'm V now for a converging lens, okay, either converging or, or diverging. For uh, the image distance is positive for a real image, anything real as positive, and V is negative for a virtual image. Okay, and then your F is going to be F is positive, and if F is positive, okay, from here if F, F is positive, automatically your P is going to be positive. Diverging lens, the image form is always virtual. For diverging lens, the image form is always virtual, erect, and diminished. The first question we have here. The magnification of an object produced with a converging lens or focal length 15 cm is 5. If the image is real, what is the separation between the object and the image? The magnification we have is 5. And the focal length is uh, 15 cm. Now, we are dealing with a converging lens. And for a converging lens, the focal length is positive. Okay, now we're told that if the image is real, automatically we know that V is going to be positive. What is the separation between the object and the image? So the, the separation we're looking for is U plus V. So do we have U? No. Do we have V? No. But then we have the magnification and the focal length. Do not forget that your M 
is V all over U. Okay, then your M is 5. That means V equals to 5 U. So 1 over 15 equals to 1 over U plus 1 over 5 U. So if you look for the same here, which is 5 U, U in 5 U is 5. 5 times 1 is 5. This and this is 1 times 1 is 1. So eventually you're going to have, when you cross multiply now, you have 1 times 5 U is 5 U. Then this is 6 times 15. So when the variables are by 5, I can now say the U is 5 year 1, 5 year 3. So 6 times 3 is 18. 18 centimeter. And if u is 18 centimeter, if you put your u in this equation, your v becomes 5 times 18. And then v is uh, 90 centimeters. So the distance, or probably the separation we're looking for, which is u plus v, becomes 18 plus 90. Then your u plus v becomes 108 centimeters. Question number two. We have a lens of focal length 12 centimeters, forms an upright image three times the size of the real object. The distance between the object and the image is here we're not told either it is a converging lens or a, con uh, a diverging lens. But then there's something you need to note. We have an upright image and then it is a magnified upright image. So for the fact that we have a magnified upright image, that means we're dealing with a converging lens. The only time we can have a converging lens, sorry, the only time we can have an upright image, see that we have a converging or a diverging. But for a diverging lens, the image is always diminished. Though it is upright, but not is not magnified. It's not magnified. So that means we are dealing with a converging lens. And the magnification here is three. Okay. Meanwhile, the focal length, since it's a converging lens, the focal length is positive. It's 12 centimeters. Made. So, I have an upright image. The image is definitely going to be virtual. So, that means if it is virtual, that means our V is going to be negative. So, the question is look for the distance between the object and the image, which is U plus V. We don't have our U, we don't have our V. But then we can say M is V all over U. And your m is 3, so that means 3 equals to v over u. And then v is this. So if I bring the uh, length equation, which is 1 over f equals to 1 over v plus 1 over u, then 1 over 12 equals 1 over 3 u plus 1 over u. Now, you need to understand that I said earlier that this is virtual and this is negative. So instead of just 3u, now you're going to put minus 3u. So if your u is 8 centimeters, what is v? Then your v finally is going to be 3 times 8, which is 24 centimeters. So the distance between uh, the image and the object now, which is u plus v, is going to give you 8 plus 24. And your u plus v is 32 centimeters. Number three, the concave lens of focal length 20 centimeter forms an image one over four size of the object. The object distance is, now we have the concave lens here and the image formed by concave lens is always virtual and red and diminished which means the focal length is going to be negative and the magnification is going to be negative as well because uh, don't forget that m is v over u and for a virtual image, because we said earlier that the image formed by concave uh, lens is always virtual, so you're going to have minus v over u. So whatever you have here is going to be negative for the magnification. So your n is minus 1 over 4. So we're looking for the object distance u, which we do not have. Do we even have the image distance v? No. But do not forget, v is going to be negative as well. So if I use my m equals to v over u, Okay, meanwhile m is minus. I can either have the way I can use this or I just say okay, my m is minus, which is minus 1 over 4 equals to v over u. Then my, if I cross multiply now, 4v equals.
equals to minus u then my u can be minus 4v I can just put it like this or I come here and say my m which is 1 over 4 equals to minus v over u so as I cross multiply I will have minus uh, 4v equals to u okay which is still the same thing as uh, what we have here so u is equal to minus 4v now do we have uh, let's go and calculate the value over u from 1 over f equals to 1 over u plus 1 over v 1 over minus 20 equals to 1 over your u is minus 4 minus 4 v plus 1 over v so your v is minus 60 all over 4 so if I now come here and look for the value of my v if I put the value of v into this equation then this will become u equals to uh, minus 4 then v is minus 60 all over 4 minus times minus is plus so cancel out then 4 cancel 4 then now u becomes 60 centimeters which is the right answer do not forget that power is 1 all over f and for a diverging lens okay for a diverging lens your f is going to be negative so that means your power also is going to be negative so if i put the power uh, value of the focal length into this equation do not forget that your focal length is 10 centimeters so if i put the value of um, f here then p is going to be 1 over minus 10 which is going to be minus 0 0.1 and the unit of this is deltas hi guys we've come to the end of today's video do not forget to like comment and subscribe to this channel see you guys in the next video thank you